Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how I solve the problem that I encountered recently wherein I have a specific capacity here with uh, my items and then I wanted to refer it in this table wherein the capacity is not exactly the same capacity in my actual data. So uh, the result that I want is that to convert this uh, capacity into the next higher level and then return the output of that uh, particular rounded up values. For example, 5.14, uh, I will get the 6 and the value of 6 will be uh, the returned equivalent output. For 0.78, I want to get 1 and then return that equivalent value. And the next thing is that the table has a limit, lower and uh, higher limit on this. So uh, that is the problem. So the first option that I have is the VLOOKUP. So I'm going to write the VLOOKUP here. Let's see the result for the VLOOKUP. The lookup value will be the input cell here. And then comma, table array will be this part. And then comma, I'm going to put 2 for the equivalent output to get the equivalent output. And then comma, uh, I wanted to get the approximate match, which is true. And then close it and then enter. And that's it. Not applicable because there is no uh, 0.78 in the table. There is no zero. So in here, the workaround is to have an if statement. So directly say that uh, if this value here is less than 1, so I'm going to pick the 1 in the table, comma, then return the 5,000 here, the 5,000 equivalent. And then if this false, execute the VLOOKUP. Then properly close it here and then enter. That's it. It has now a value for the lower limits. Yeah. So for the higher limit, which is 5 and above, that's correct. It returns the same value. But there's a problem if uh, the value is in between the table because in here, for 2.61, it returns 10,000, which is this equivalent, which is an equivalent for a capacity of 2. But in my case, I wanted to get 15,000 because I wanted to convert, convert it into 3. So there is a problem with the VLOOKUP. It, it returns the lower value within a range of uh, capacity here. So the next option that I have is the index and match. So I'm going to write the index. And again, the array will be the output. I wanted to return the equivalent output. And then comma, the row number will be supplied by the match and use the match here and then the lookup value will be true because we will create comma in the lookup array a series of true or false in our capacity in the table so i'm going to test this capacity here for the lookup array if this is greater than our input here and that's it comma we wanted to have exact match for the match zero close the match and close the index and because this is an array formula we're gonna finish it with control shift enter and that's it that's the value that i want that's the uh, 15,000 here the next higher level so that's it now if we change it into uh, a lower limit okay that's correct because uh, it returns the higher values uh, the same but there is a problem i think with the higher level higher limit because it's not applicable. There is no 6 in here and there is no equivalent output for 6. So uh, the workaround for that is to shoot this index and match into an if statement. I'm going to use the ifs. And then the logical test will be uh, if this value here is uh, greater than uh, this value, 5, then uh, value of true is 25. And then stop the ifs. First uh, logical test. Or the second logical test will be true and then comma execute the index so that's it then close it properly and then control shift enter and that's it it returns now the same so again let's check it lower limit okay higher limit still okay both of it and then uh, case in between the maximum capacity here it's not the same and in my case I'm going to choose this part. I wanted to get a higher result in my table. Again, uh, for the 3.82, I wanted to get 20,000. And that's it. 
I'm finished here. I'm done. If you're liking my videos, you can subscribe in my channel. And see you next time and thanks.